Yes, Haley, they are on high alert. The wind right now died down during this hit, but as I've been out here, it has been coming and going pretty strong. And even though the temperature is cooler, just one spark could still go a long way. The wind conditions now are just about how they were in the 2018 fire, which, you know, destroyed all of our hometown. So it does scare a lot of people. This howling wind, a reminder of the campfire to the Concow and Yankee Hill community. It's, it's hard. Owner of the Canyon Lake Market, Abel Mubarka, like says they're green. prepared with defensible space around their stores and homes. But with a windy day like today. We hope there's no thunder or no like somebody did something bad and burned something. You don't need hot weather to have extreme fire conditions. This wind is even drying out the, the fuels even more. They're already historically dry but every bit of wind on it dries them out even more. Even with these cooler temperatures, people living up here on Yankee Hill and in Concow tell me that they are still on high alert when they see wind speeds this high. It just happens in seconds, people lost everything. It shows how little amount of time and the conditions we have that can destroy somebody's whole entire life. We get these winds that are coming from a different direction than what we've seen all summer. Um, and the wind has almost no moisture in it at all. Having the fire station nearby makes some feel safer. Thanks God for the firefighters. They help us to keep the stores open and they try their best to protect this area. But it's still hard to predict how the wind will move. It still does scare people, you know, any fire can spark at any time and with the winds it'll take it completely out of control and people are scared to lose everything again. Currently in a red flag warning and Cal Fire expects us to stay in this red flag warning until late Tuesday evening or afternoon. Live from Yankee Hill, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on.